You've been working on your level for days, maybe months, and now you want to add your fractals into it and see how it looks. So here I'm using a test level. It's from the marketplace. It's called Stone Pine Forest. And I'm going to add Machina Fractals Essence into it. So just click Add to Project and select your project. Uh, I already did that. So uh, after a few seconds, uh, after the import, you should see the folder here. And I'm going to add this, flag, this fractal here. So to do that, first you need to create a plane. So shapes, plane, just drag that here. And we only have to uh, do two things. So first replace the material with uh, the instance material, this one. So just drag that. And in case you are not seeing anything, you have to change the static mesh bound size. So just double click here and look for bounds. Uh, you have to put a big number like 3000. Uh, otherwise, if it's zero, you will see that your fractal is like, you can cut your fractal and this is good sometimes because you want only some part of it, so you can cut it in this way. Uh, but for now, let's keep it at 3,000, 3, okay? And let's make it a little bigger. So just select the plane here. Uh, this one is old one, don't need that. And let's scale it like five and see how it looks. So uh, I don't really know what we are going to create this time, but let's see what the fractal suggests. And I think I'm going to cut, to cut this part. So we only have this nice fractal uh, bulb here. And to do that again, just go in the static mesh and let's try to put some numbers in it. Like, okay, if it is good one, that's too much. So it takes a while to understand how to cut the fractal, but you eventually get there. Okay, this looks nice to me. We can close this window and maybe let's make it just a little bigger so we can place it in the middle. Okay, maybe even bigger, like twice. Okay, this is looking good to me. And basically that is that simple. So you just import your fractal and create a plane, check the bounds, and that's it. So now of course you can animate the fractal itself by going here in the material instance, and you can change a few parameters. You can change really whatever you want here. Uh, we will do a in-depth tutorial about all the different parameters, but it's pretty intuitive. I think you just have to play with it and try to understand what's going on. Um, you can see, you can animate in this way using the loop, or you can smooth things out. Of course, if you change something, you are going to need to reposition it so let's also add a first first person uh, character here so to do that uh, go here add feature or content pack and let's do first person or third person okay add to project and you should find your third person character here just drag that over the map and let's rotate it like this. Okay. And now we need to possess the player. So how to possess player, set that to player zero. And when you hit play, 
you should be able to go around with your character. And as you can see, with one click, basically we have a nice uh, abstract monster in the middle of the map. And of course, can be animated. You can change the textures. Uh, this is pretty cool, I think. I mean, your creativity is the, the limit here. So really, you can do whatever you want. Okay, so I tried with uh, different fractals. Uh, fractal, sorry, this one is Mix Pin Skill Light uh, V2. So it's a little heavy formula, but if it's in the distance, you can run uh, the game really smooth without any problem. If you go closer, you will need a powerful GPU. So uh, that's the only limitation. Here is going pretty well. And I changed a few things. So the texture here is, uh, is I'm using tree planner with the concrete texture. You can just find that if you go under the content and hit, uh, concrete content, sorry, and search for concrete, you can just drag that and it's going to apply on the side. And I used a grass one for the top part. So you have this nice um, grass only on the top. And that's pretty much it. So of course, when you play with it, it's going to be fun, let's say. Um, I see this being used for environment design, honestly. Okay, the grass is loading. The forest level here is pretty heavy itself so but it's running smooth with with the fractals so it should be all good and of course you can as always you can change parameters you can animate those while playing uh, let's try to change this uh, you have to be delicate let's change the time v I hate that yellow outline. Okay. Something like that. I love I love this. Yeah. Look at this. Uh, of course, the fractal behind the level is just massive. You can, of course, just cut using the bound, uh, but it's cool. I will leave that as it is. Hope you like this uh, example about how to use fractals for environment design, and really hope to see you guys doing some cool stuff with this because we have never seen before.